All right, we are live on KEXP 90.3 FM Seattle, Occupy Duwamish Territory, transmitting live all around the world on KEXP.org and the KEXP mobile app. My name is Gabriel Teodros. It's my joy and pleasure to introduce to you Wesley out of Haiti by way of Montreal. Let's get into it. Bonito, yo voke que le mue, yo tim sole e malan, sole malan, la ti bonito, yo voke se shi mue, yo tim sole e malan, lem ti vive, mue juen sole kuche, lem ti vive. Next song is about uh, Dudu. Um, uh, Dudu is a song that uh, I wrote a uh, long time ago when I was a teenager in Haiti, and um, Haiti, my country, that I love so much. And uh, I'm coming here to introduce you this uh, beautiful song. And uh, it, um, it's talking about uh, like the Creole um, culture that is like, uh, disappearing and losing times, two times, and decreasing. Uh, the Creole women are not very proud to be themselves anymore. They add a lot of uh, chemical product and everything. And I call the Creole to stay 
uh, um, to stay f uh, faithful in the culture and stay natural. Uh, this is uh, do do.
C'est nous là qui en plein pic, c'est là où est mangé. Les lapins tombent pas qu'elles côté pour m'arracher. Ma vie a pris son test, ça y est, on son fric chaque jour. Tenez, prêt à tourner. Ça va dire que quand ça m'a passé. Vous me voyez pour chanter. Vous m'expliquez ça m'a passé. Oh, 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 oh,
original instrument we have the corner here we got the bamboo there from the first black nation with the first nation we got this rhythm called ra ra we're gonna play this section for you one two one two KEXP, that was amazing, y'all. Thank you so much. Whew. How y'all feeling? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Oh man, thank you so much for coming through. Man, just off top, like, can you can you tell us about the instruments you were just playing? You said that was the the oldest instrument. Yes, the oldest instrument from the first 
nation. The first black republic. Yeah, to the first black republic. But that means we mix this culture with the first nation. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? The, 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 the Tainos, the uh -huh. Arawak. Uh -huh. And then we were the one that put together with them because the colonizers didn't want that. Right. And then we get together through the Rara. -ra. And the instrument is called the Rara. -ra. Yes, the rhythm called the Rara. -ra. This, this instrument called Kone. Uh -huh. You know, this is from Africa. And the bamboo, they are from the First Nation. We mix the African instrument to the First Nation instrument to give you the rhythm of Rara. -ra. I love it. That's amazing. Thank you for bringing that. Um, and uh, yeah, also, can you can you introduce your amazing band that you brought with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have on keyboard Mr. David Mobio from Ivory Coast, Côte d'Ivoire, Abidjan, Africa. And also I have uh, Michel Medrano bring this uh, uh, from Havana, Cuba. And uh, I have also Mr. Andre Desile from Jamaica and Canada on saxophone. We have also Martin Labbe from uh, Morocco and Canada on trumpet. We have also Watson Joseph from Haiti on bass. We have also Cindy Bellot on dance and uh, chorus for us from Haiti. Thank you so much, guys. You guys, you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Yes, it's such a it's such a good vibe in the room. Like everybody's like smiling while they're into the music. You know, yeah. it's 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 great. Um, I was reading a bit about your story today, and I was hoping you could share some of it um, with our listeners about how you how you started um, in music in, in Port-au-Prince when you were a child. Yeah, I was uh, in a big family of music. You know, my dad used to play on the beach with uh, uh, for the tourists, and he played uh, he played the banjo, and he played all kind of troubadour and folk music of Haiti, the instruments. And then uh, we are seven kids in the family at that time. And uh, we, my family had a lot of problems with babysitting, uh -huh. you know, because my mom is a pastor and my dad is a musician. And then my, I always go to the side of my dad on the beach and see him play. And he give me a little shaker just to keep me busy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because he didn't want me to talk and blah, blah, blah. And then <laughs> I, from the shaker to keep me busy. And one day I tell my dad, hey, yeah, can I touch your guitar? He said, no, 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 no. This is, this is, you can't touch it because, because this is the, the guitar that brings food in the house, you know? Mm. From, uh, you know, from a perspective of poor family in Haiti, I understood it. I was eight at that time. I remember I, I got a reflection to say, okay, no food, nothing. Mm. I won't touch the guitar of my dad. And then I was making my mind working, and I went in the street. I, was, I see a little, uh, uh, a, big, uh, a big oil can from the NGOs that I can. And then I took it, it was, it was USAID or I can. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I took it, I, I brought it home and I was like, okay, this is like the bottom of guitar of my dad and I need a fret board. Yeah. And I went uh, uh, in the forest, there was a, a guy uh, uh, like with the woods and clean the woods. I said, oh, okay, I want to make a guitar and I have the bottom here. He said, okay, I want to fix you. And he bought, he gave me a little piece of food, and at that time I take a piece of of uh, I just make it up, you know, pow, pow, pow. yeah. And then I went on the beach and I tell the the fisherman, yo, I need a string for my guitar, <laughs> <laughs> and then the fisherman gave me all kind of uh, strings, and I went home with the strings and I saw my dad play and I say, daddy. I wanna, we, I wanna tune my guitar as yours. Ah. Whenever you play, I will be playing with you. That's where I began my music career. You built your first guitar. I built it. At what age is this? And I was eight. Eight years old. Nine. You yeah. built your first guitar. I love that story so much. <laughs> and then, and then your family had a had a very long journey from from Haiti to to where you are now. Can can you tell us yeah, a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. From that time, you know. My, my mom said, okay, you have to go. I was, at that time, I was beginning of rapping and singing, dance all mm. and everything. My mom said, keep your guitar and come to church and play. And at that time, I went to, to, to church with my mom. I started playing at, at, in church mm -hmm. and like that. I had my first band called So Cute because we were teenagers at that time. We were like so cute and uh -huh. singing together. <laughs> they called the band So Cute. And at that time, you know, um, yeah, bring food, 
in the house with what I have, mm -hmm. what, I, what, I, what I create and create good music to help the family behind. And it's very important for me to continue to play the music because the music create me. I have to keep on playing from there to Canada and they receive me well. And yeah. I had my own appointment in, in Quebec yeah. and Quebec State, Montreal. And yeah, I feel home. I have a second home. Yeah. They receive me well, they, get, they welcome me, and I feel home. And that's where I met all the, those, those beautiful musicians. I love that. Uh, Mont Montreal has such a vibrant music scene and a huge Haitian community as well. Yeah. 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 Good vibration there. Absolutely. Your first, um, your first group in Haiti, was it L La Cool mu Music? Was it that it, one? It was, like, it's called So Cute at that time. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So Cute. But you know, I get I get also formation at the music school with uh, the Laco music uh, uh, Sambazao. Mm -hmm. He was my teacher at uh, In Arts, okay, an international art school of Port-au-Prince. Oh, okay, so y'all connected in Haiti. Yes, we all connected. Okay, yeah. yeah, that was that was um yeah I played that record on the radio before. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, um I wanted to ask about the new work. You've got a, a double album. Is that, did I read that correctly? That's, that's coming out this year, like one part's out now and one part's out coming out in the future. Can you tell us about that? Yes, the first part is Tradition One. Tradition mm -hmm. One was um, a project that I put together by researching different rhythms, different vibes and different lost languages mm -hmm. in Haiti because we have all the cultures in Haiti. We have the Daomes, we got the Yorubas, we got the Eways, we got the Fon people. Also, we have the Igbo. And uh, from there, I just, I just go into the Lacos. There was a kind of culture reserve where all those tribes and, and gather together and, and trying to make, to make uh, uh, the culture, mm -hmm. you know, continue. And I went there and I learned all kind of languages, all kind of rhythms. And from that, I dedicate the tradition one to the Haitian culture, the deepness of the culture, the deep deepness of the tradition. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And then the next one is taking us to the future, is that right? Yeah, it's gonna take us to the future. You know, there was a lot of uh, young youngsters mm -hmm. in Haiti now, they, they exposed to social media and everything. And they, are, they, need, they need some guidance that I, mm -hmm. I, I just create tradition one to, to just make them, remind them where they're coming from. That's right. And then from tradition second, I'm going to tell them, this is what I propose you. You can propose yourself this way. I'm going to do my own mix and you can merge your own tradition to different kind of vibes and different kind of influences and make your own. That's what the tradition second is about. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I can't wait to, to hear the new record and you know just dive deeper into your work. Um, this is a question that I, I tend to ask everybody near the end of the interviews, but um, what is one thing that you hope everyone gets from your music? I want them to feel it, mm -hmm. you know? Don't listen to the lyrics because lyrics doesn't mean that, you know, if you don't speak the language, you, you, you don't have to focus on the lyrics, focus on the vibes. You know, the music is the international language. Mm -hmm. We call it like that. We musicians, we believe in music to bring people together, to bring, we believe in music more than politics. We, I think politics divide, pe dividing people, but music brings people together and we can dance together and sit down together and talk together and relate together on the music. That's what it is. Wesley and the van, thank y'all so much for joining us thank here you. on KXP. This is live on KXP, a series on YouTube. Uh, subscribe on YouTube and yeah, support KXP 90.3 FM. Thank you to everyone who supports and thank you again to Wesley. Appreciate y'all. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.